extra. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my goodness, I'm ready for this one. This is uh, happens to be one of my favorite bands that I learned of off of this here podcast. So to tell you all about it, uh, this is the Metal Hammer of Doom Extra. We're, we're going to talk about a video from this band. Mark Radlich is here to kind of try and save me from my stumble bumble. And I uh, <laughs> got the stumble bumble. Mark Radlich, what the hell are we talking about today? Oh, one of Robert Cooper's favorite bands besides Amon Amar, Sabaton. Do you like your Wars soundtrack to heavy metal? Well, this is the band for you. Sure. Sabaton is a power metal band from Falun, Sweden. Ikea is from Sweden. I like meatballs. Yes, uh, yes indeed. Uh, since May of 2014, they've released seven studio albums, including Carolus Rex, which was recorded in separate Swedish and English versions and certified gold in Poland. Platinum in Sweden, 40,000 album sales, making it the most successful Swedish heavy metal album ever, according to the band. We are going to review The Great War, which came out on July 19th, 2019. We're going to be looking at their single, their, the video for the single, The Fields of Verdun. They've also released a video for Bismarck, not as good as, I mean, it's good, but it's not as good as this one, Fields of Verdun, which was released May 3rd, 2019. Well, I'm excited, Mark. It's been I've I had a lot of fun with that last Sabaton album. Okay. So, well, he, here's what needs to happen, okay? Tell me. We need to watch the video, and then we need to just read some of the comments on this. It's fucking hilarious. Oh no! Oh <laughs> no! All right. Well, that sounds good. Let's let's get into it, man. Whenever you're ready, can you hit play? Here we go. Hit play. You hit play. All I right. did hit play. You hit play. Now this guy's waking up. He's in a military uniform. Yep. Believe it or not. This is the bat. This is the uh, the battle in the fields of Verdun, which I looked up and I don't remember anything about. Hold on a second. I'll, I'll kind of let it involved, you. I believe, German and French soldiers. Uh, and then once again, Sabaton's right in the middle of the battle, playing their song. <laughs> uh, I'm not the history guy. That would be Andrew Graham from our Canadian office. Yeah. But I believe this is supposed to be World War One. Yeah, most of. That is what the Great War was called, if I remember correctly. World War One. Correct. Was yeah. So, uh, World War One Battle of Verdun in 1916 uh, for the battle during the French Revolution. Oh, never mind. That's that there. Uh, <laughs> Wait, no, nope. <laughs> no, nope. Fought from 21st February to 18th December of 1916, the longest battle of the First World War. Fought yes. On the Western Front between German and French armies. Yep. The battle has begun. There's nowhere to run, Jesse Starcher. Yeah. Fields of Verdun. I like this song. I, I had a chance to listen to it there a couple weeks back. And Sabaton always brings it, in my opinion. I think mm -hmm. they do a good job. I think they would have won the war faster had there been a heavy metal band playing <laughs> while they were... Oh! Ouch! Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I agree. I mean, although... You just don't stick the metal band in the middle of the battle. Or no, no, right in the middle. Your metal's not going to last very long. <laughs> right in the middle as Wonder Woman runs right past them. Yep. <laughs> in the background there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude's picking up his own hand. Yeah. Not good. When you actually think about, like, the gruesomeness of these of these battles, you know, yeah. like, it's the, from the Civil War on through World War One. You know, where so much of it was on a field like yeah. this. And you're not you too know? far from your uh, enemies. I mean, right. there's, there's tanks and stuff that uh, had long range, you know, long range weapons. But I mean, you mm -hmm. are not very far from your You have to. I mean, I think the war now, I mean, yeah, this is plenty. Obviously, there's plenty of people that get hurt, you know, hurt and killed in war. But so much of it is done with drones. Yeah. You know, there's, there's a, I mean, they were just talking about on the news, there was a convention where they were selling uh, weapons of war, and a lot of it is to keep the soldiers safe. Like, the soldier stays in one place, and the weapon goes out into the field. Yep. Um, there's, like, scopes on guns that go behind walls and stuff. I mean, oh, yeah. it's crazy. Meanwhile, you have, like, tr you know, you have World War One. you have trench warfare. Mm-hmm. Just like we're seeing here, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yep. just amazing stories if you ever have the chance and if you get bored there is a series on netflix that is nothing but about world uh let's try it again medal of honor recipients 
Mm. And they talk about people who died and got it posthumously and people who are still living. And they tell the story and reenact it. And it is some of the most harrowing shit that I've seen. Mm -hmm. uh, people go, I mean, thank God that I have never had been in the military. The yeah. Battle of Verdun lasted 303 days and was the longest active battle in history. It was one of the bloodiest battles of the Great War with over 700,000 casualties. Fuck. The battle has become a strong symbol for the French resistance, along with the words, on ne passe pas. They shall not pass. So you said you got some comments here. Let's, let's, let's yeah, hop okay. into it. Yeah, let's go this... from serious to like fucking YouTube comments. <laughs> so German commanders, kill everything that moves. Also German commanders, except for those cool guitar guys. <laughs> uh, history happens. Sabaton. Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> this needs to go on a fucking shirt. And if they, if they ever put this on a shirt, I would buy it. Okay. A wise man once said, when Christians die, they go to heaven. When Satanists die, they go to hell. When soldiers die, they go to a Sabaton concert. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> this, is my, this is my favorite. Producer, how many dead French soldiers do you want? Sabaton, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, history teacher, so did you all study for today's test? Everybody, yes. Me, looks at my Sabaton playlist. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's, you know, absolutely. <laughs> uh, so I got to read you this guy's name, the Forgotten Historian. Okay. French. They <laughs> shall not. Yes. They <laughs> they shall not pass. Germans will try. Three hundred and three days later, French. They didn't pass. <laughs> they did not. <laughs> they did. Uh, first time listening. It's quite all right. Second time listening. Okay, I like this very much. Five hundred and fifty second time listening. Fields up for done. <laughs> yep, it's going to get in your head. Sabaton is actually a time travel band. They just go to history battles. Oh, and <laughs> amazing. <laughs> and just fucking rock out. Yes, please. That's great. That's a great head cannon. Uh, <laughs> all these all get, get better and better. Sir, I can't get a good shot. Why? There's a bunch of ducking Swedes with guitars in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Auto corrected his ass. Uh, yes. Uh, others, you can't make a music video without hoes and cars. Sabaton, hold my beer. Yeah, watch this. <laughs> watch this. Oh my God. Well, I'm excited, Mark. I mean, this is Sabaton coming back. I love their last album. So many great songs on there. A lot of history, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of history. Um, so <laughs> wait, last one. Director, how many deaths do you want in this video clip? Sabaton. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, that one's coming. Oh, these are the best comments ever. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Radlich is here to tell you what we're co what's coming up on the Metal Hammer of Doom this Wednesday. Sabaton, the Great War, coming up this Wednesday on the Metal Hammer of Doom. Wonderful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's Mark. I'm Jesse. We'll catch you Wednesday. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Tune in Wednesday for the Metal Hammer of Doom on the Radlich and Broadcasting Network.